Hold on to your pickaxes, gamers. The moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. The Minecraft movie trailer is finally here. After years of rumours, speculation and endless waiting, we get our first glimpse into the blocky world brought to life on the big screen. Yes, that's right. The movie we've all been waiting for. Or not. The reactions have been, well, mixed to say the least. After years of anticipation, the trailer landed with a thud. Fans were expecting a masterpiece, but what they got was something entirely different. It promised a grand adventure, filled with iconic characters and epic battles. The kind of story that would make any Minecraft fan's heart race with excitement. But instead, it delivered something different. Something that didn't quite hit the mark. Something that left fans scratching their heads and muttering, Wait, what? The storyline seemed off, the characters didn't feel right, and the overall vibe was just... confusing. Remember that feeling when you open a present, expecting the latest game console, and its socks? That crushing disappointment? Yeah, that's the feeling many fans are experiencing right now. Yeah, that's pretty much the vibe right now. The excitement quickly turned into confusion and disappointment. The internet exploded faster than a creeper in a crowded village. Social media platforms were flooded with reactions, memes and rants. Memes? Oh, there are memes. Rants? Countless. Fans are expressing their frustration and confusion in every way possible. The Minecraft movie trailer was not the block party we were hoping for. Instead, it felt more like a party where the cake was a lie. But hey, maybe the full movie will surprise us. Until then, we'll keep our pickaxes ready and our expectations in check. Minecraft is all about creativity. It's about building anything you can imagine, from towering castles to intricate redstone contraptions. It's about exploring vast, procedurally generated worlds, uncovering hidden treasures and battling fearsome mobs. But this movie, this movie seems to have missed the memo. Instead of the charming, pixelated world we know and love, we're treated to a generic CGI landscape. Think Avatar, but with less blue and more brown. And don't even get me started on the characters. Gone are the simple yet expressive blocky figures. In their place are, well, let's just say they look like they belong in a completely different movie. One of the things that makes Minecraft so special is its simplicity. The blocky graphics, the intuitive gameplay, the endless possibilities. It's a game that sparks imagination and creativity in people of all ages. So why, oh why, did the movie feel the need to go all Hollywood on us? The trailer is a visual assault of CGI explosions, overly designed characters, and a color palette that screams generic action movie. It's like they took everything that makes Minecraft unique and threw it out the window. Where's the charm? Where's the whimsy? This isn't Minecraft, it's a neon nightmare, plain and simple. Seriously? This cast? Talk about miscast. Now, let's talk about the cast. When you hear about a new movie adaptation of a beloved video game, you can't help but get excited. The anticipation builds as you imagine your favourite characters coming to life on the big screen. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for a star-studded lineup. Seeing big names attached to a project can be thrilling and can draw in a larger audience. But when it comes to video game adaptations, casting is crucial. It's not just about having famous faces. It's about finding the right fit for each character. You need actors who understand the source material, who have a genuine connection to the game and its world. They should be able to bring authenticity and depth to their roles. 
who can embody the spirit of the characters. It's about capturing the essence of what makes these characters special and beloved by fans. And I'm not sure this movie quite hit the mark. The actors seem out of place, as if they were plucked from entirely different genres and thrown together without much thought. The trailer features a who's who of Hollywood A-listers, which on paper sounds impressive. But in reality, it feels like a mismatched ensemble, but none of them seem to fit their roles. It's almost as if the casting decisions were made without considering the characters' personalities and backgrounds. It's like they were randomly assigned characters from a hat. And the dialogue? Oh boy. Let's just say it's about as cheesy as a pizza top pizza. The lines are cringeworthy and lack the wit and charm that fans expect. Come on guys, you had one job, to bring the magic of the game to life. Instead, it feels like a missed opportunity, a project that could have been so much more with the right casting choices. Remember Detective Pikachu? That's how it's done. Look, I get it. Adapting a video game into a movie is no easy feat, but it's not impossible. Take Detective Pikachu, for example. That movie understood its source material. It captured the heart and humour of the Pokemon world while still appealing to a wider audience. The creators of Detective Pikachu clearly respected the game and its fans. They didn't try to reinvent the wheel. They embraced the quirky charm of the Pokemon world and delivered a fun, heartwarming adventure that both fans and newcomers could enjoy. Why couldn't the Minecraft movie do the same? A love letter to Blocks. What we really wanted. Imagine this. A Minecraft movie that captures the magic of the game. A film that brings to life the endless possibilities and adventures that the game offers. Picture a world where every block tells a story and every player is a hero in their own right. A movie that celebrates the creativity, the exploration, the sense of wonder that has captivated millions of players worldwide. It would be a visual feast, showcasing the diverse biomes, the intricate builds and the dynamic landscapes that make Minecraft so unique. A movie that feels like a love letter to the blocky world we all know and love. It would be a tribute to the countless hours spent mining, crafting and surviving. A heartfelt homage to the community that has grown around this beloved game. We could have had a story about a group of friends who get lost in a vast, procedurally generated world. Their journey would be filled with challenges and triumphs as they navigate through forests, deserts and oceans, building and bonding along the way. We could have seen them build incredible structures, battle fearsome mobs, and uncover hidden secrets. Their adventures would inspire viewers to pick up their own tools and start creating, to see the world through the lens of possibility and imagination. We could have had a movie that inspires the next generation of builders, explorers and dreamers. A film that encourages creativity, teamwork and perseverance. A story that resonates with both young and old, reminding us of the joy of discovery and the thrill of adventure. But instead, we got this. A missed opportunity, a shadow of what could have been. A reminder that sometimes, what we really wanted remains just out of reach. The final verdict. A big, fat, pixelated disappointment. The Minecraft movie trailer is a stark reminder that Hollywood doesn't always understand what makes video games special. It's a missed opportunity, a slap in the face to the millions of fans who have poured countless hours into this beloved game. So, what can we do? Well, we can vote with our wallets, we can choose not to support a movie that clearly doesn't respect its source material we can show Hollywood that we deserve better. 
we deserve a Minecraft movie that truly captures the magic of the game. One that is creative, inspiring, and most importantly, fun. This 